Did you know that a single type Aya supernova releases more energy than our sun will in its entire 10 billion year lifespan? This mind-boggling fact is just the tip of the cosmic iceberg when it comes to these celestial powerhouses. Welcome stargazers to the fascinating world of type Aya supernovae, the universe's very own lighthouses. As we embark on this journey, let's delve into the basics of what these cosmic marvels are all about. Type Ia supernovae are stellar phenomena that occur in binary star systems, where two stars orbit around their common center of mass. But these are not just any ordinary stars. One of them happens to be a white dwarf, a star at the end of its life cycle, compact and incredibly dense. When the gravitational pull of this white dwarf becomes too strong, it starts to steal matter from its companion star. Once the white dwarf accumulates enough matter and crosses a certain threshold, a spectacular explosion ensues resulting in a type Ia supernova. Now why do we refer to these supernovae as cosmic lighthouses? Well the light they emit is so incredibly bright that it can outshine an entire galaxy. Imagine billions of stars being outperformed by a single supernova. This immense brightness is not just a spectacle for our eyes but it also serves a vital purpose. It allows us to detect these supernovae across vast cosmic distances, making them an invaluable tool in our quest to understand the universe. But the magic of these cosmic lighthouses doesn't stop there. The energy they release is astronomical. We're talking about an energy equivalent to over 5 billion 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 megatons of TNT. To put that into perspective, that's more energy than our sun will release over its entire lifetime. So, these cosmic powerhouses aren't just spectacular to behold, they also hold the key to unlocking the vast distances of our universe. As we venture further into the cosmos, guided by these cosmic lighthouses, who knows what secrets we might discover? But what exactly triggers such a cataclysmic event in the cosmos? To understand the birth of a type Ia supernova, we must first acquaint ourselves with the humble celestial objects known as white dwarfs. These are the dense, hot remnants of stars like our own sun, Having exhausted their nuclear fuel, these stars shed their outer layers, leaving behind a hot core that cools and dims over billions of years. Hence the name White Dwarf. However, the story gets more intriguing when a white dwarf is part of a binary system, meaning it shares its cosmic dance with another star. In such a system, the White Dwarf's gravity can pull material from its companion star, accruing more and more mass over time. This process is akin to a cosmic dance where one partner is gradually siphoning life from the other, now imagine a white dwarf that has been feeding off its companion star for some time. It's grown heavy, its mass nearing a critical limit known as the Chandrasekhar limit. This is the maximum mass a white dwarf can attain before it can no longer support itself against its own gravitational pull. When this limit is reached, things start to heat up, quite literally. The intense pressure and temperature ignite a runaway nuclear fusion, and within mere seconds, the white dwarf explodes in a brilliant supernova. This is one way a type Ia supernova is born. Alternatively, a type Ia supernova can also be born from the violent collision of two white dwarfs. In this scenario, the combined mass of the colliding white dwarfs exceeds the Chandrasekhar limit, triggering a similar explosion. The resulting supernova shines with the brightness of a billion suns, briefly outshining the galaxy it resides in. It's a cosmic spectacle of unimaginable scale, a testament to the laws of physics playing out in the universe. In the grand cosmic theater, the birth of a type Ia supernova is truly a spectacle of nature's power and beauty. So, how do these brilliant stellar explosions help us measure the vast distances of the cosmos? Well, it's all about their predictable brightness. Type Ia supernovae are known as standard candles in astronomy. A standard candle, in the context of cosmology, is an object whose luminosity, or intrinsic brightness, is known. Because the luminosity of type Ia supernovae is consistent, they're ideal for this purpose. To put it simply, imagine you're looking at a row of streetlights stretching into the distance. The lights closest to you are bright, but as they recede into the distance, they appear dimmer. Now, if you knew exactly how bright each streetlight was supposed to be, you could calculate how far away each one is based on how dim it appears from your vantage point. This is the principle behind how astronomers use type Ia supernovae to measure cosmic distances. You see, when a type Ia supernova explodes, it shines with a peak luminosity that's roughly 5 billion times the brightness of our sun. That's a lot of light. And because this peak brightness is consistent from one type Ia supernova to the next, astronomers can use it as a gauge. 
they observe how bright the supernova appears from Earth, and knowing how luminous it should be, they can calculate its distance. It's a bit like figuring out how far away a ship is at sea by how low it sits on the horizon. But here's where it gets even more interesting. By measuring the distances to type IA supernovae in far-flung galaxies, astronomers can chart the expansion of the universe. They can even probe into the mysterious dark energy that's driving this expansion. Just like a yardstick in a field, these supernovae help us make sense of the mind-boggling distances of the universe. But that's not all these cosmic lighthouses illuminate for us. When we gaze at type IA supernovae, we see more than just the explosive death of a star. We glimpse a fundamental truth about the universe itself. It's expanding. And not just expanding, but accelerating in its expansion. This remarkable discovery was made possible through observations of these supernovae. But how exactly do supernovae tell us about the expansion of the universe? Well, it all comes down to the light they emit. The light from distant supernovae appears less bright than we'd expect given their standard brightness. This dimming is due to the expansion of the universe. As the universe expands, it stretches the light waves from the supernovae, shifting them towards the red end of the light spectrum. This is known as redshift. By measuring the redshift, astronomers can calculate how fast the universe is expanding. Now, you might think that gravity would slow this expansion down over time, but that's where the plot thickens. Observations of type Ia supernovae in the late 20th century revealed that the expansion of the universe isn't slowing down, it's speeding up. Enter dark energy, the mysterious force that's thought to be driving this accelerated expansion. Despite making up about 70% of the universe, we know very little about dark energy. What we do know is that it's a form of energy that exists everywhere in space and exerts a negative pressure, pushing galaxies apart and causing the universe to expand at an ever-increasing rate. So, while the light of type Ia supernovae acts as a cosmic yardstick, it also shines a spotlight on one of the greatest mysteries of our universe, the nature of dark energy and the accelerating expansion of the cosmos. In this way, the light from these distant supernovae illuminates not just the vastness of the cosmos, but also its ever-expanding nature. So we've journeyed through the life and legacy of type Ia supernovae, but the cosmos still holds many more secrets. As we embark on this final leg of our journey, let's take a moment to reflect on the grand cosmic narrative we've uncovered today. Type Ia supernovae, these celestial phenomena, are not merely spectacular cosmic fireworks, but they serve as the universe's tape measures, allowing astronomers to map the cosmos and unlock the secrets of its expansion. We've learned how these cosmic lighthouses are born, their explosive and luminous death acting as a beacon in the vast expanse of space. We've discovered the unique characteristics that make Type Ia supernovae a reliable standard candle, their consistent luminosity offering a way to measure astronomical distances. We've also delved into the role these supernovae play in our understanding of the expanding universe, their light providing evidence of the acceleration of this expansion. And yet despite the wealth of knowledge they've provided us, these stellar remnants continue to pose tantalizing questions, their mysteries urging us to probe deeper into the cosmic unknown. Indeed, the importance of type Ia supernovae in the field of astronomy cannot be overstated. They've given us a lens through which we can view and comprehend the universe on a grand scale, from the intimate life cycles of stars, to the mind-boggling expansion of the cosmos itself. But remember, our journey doesn't end here. The universe is a cosmic canvas filled with astronomical secrets waiting to be discovered. Every star, every galaxy, every supernova is a piece of the cosmic puzzle. As we continue to study these celestial phenomena, we get closer to understanding the grand design of the cosmos. If you enjoyed this cosmic journey and want to uncover more astronomical secrets, make sure to hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep looking up and let the stars guide your curiosity.